Stephen was working in Central Park. Uh, he stopped a three young boys from stealing a bicycle. One of the boys stood over Stephen and shot him three times, once in the hand, once in the neck, and once in the eye. He was not able to breathe on his own, so he was on a respirator, and he was not able to move from the neck down. He thought everything was gonna be just like he pictured it. And for him to come home in a wheelchair almost a year and a half later, I think he had a tough time in the beginning because it was just something that he never thought in his wildest dreams that this would happen to him. I kiss his forehead, he would kiss my forehead, and then we rub our foreheads together and we would just look each other in the eye. And we used to do that a lot because the hug was taken away from us. My father was my best friend. He was my leader. Um, he taught me a lot about life. He gave me my values, and he gave me all the love that he had. I was extremely blessed to call him my dad. I never stopped loving Stephen. You know, that never changed. If anything, it grew even stronger. There were days where, you know, I could strangle him, but we worked and we supported each other and wanted what was best for each other. I read what Stephen spoke with a friend and they put together words that Stephen wanted to express to everybody about what he wanted to do and that was to forgive the young boy who shot him. My father truly believed in forgiving the young boy that shot him and he never questioned that. He believed that love was the way and forgiveness was an act of love. Stephen had to forgive every day. You know, Stephen had to live, you know, with being a quadriplegic on a respirator. And it wasn't easy. And Stephen, every day, forgave in order for him to go on. It's extremely tough to, to forgive. It's a daily act that you have to commit yourself every day. You can't do it just one time and be like, oh, that's it. And to wake up and realize he's not here anymore because a young boy shot him so long ago. It's tough, and that's why I wake up every day, I think about it, I pray on it. So, him and my mother decided that, Stephen, you have to get out of the house, you gotta spread this message of what has happened to you, being shot by a young boy, and forgiving him. And that's how it all started, and he didn't stop until 2017, and he went all over the all over the world. His faith was something that was very important. He couldn't tell a story without talking about his faith it was something that helped him get through, uh, you know, get through everything. He would tell his story, but it was amazing the stories that people would tell. We have unbelievable letters from kids who live in the inner city. They wrote letters to him saying, if you could forgive the young boy that shot you and you're not able to you know, hold your wife or play ball with your son, I can forgive the person that did this to me. Those four days when I was praying, there's something that I've never felt before in my entire life. You know, I made everybody go into his hospital room and, and pray next to him. We play music and I truly believe that there was something, you know, something higher, a higher being was in that waiting room and in dad's room. It was amazing all the people that came to, uh, to show their respect and love and also to share their story about how Stephen's life helped them in their lives. I don't think Stephen ever would have imagined the lives that he's touched. And there's time to feel something that I've never felt before, you know? And, I think it's, you know, it's him telling me, pointing me to, in the direction that, you know, he was, he was always wanting me to go to as a father. Like, you know, he's, he's here, you know? And uh, those are special times, because I, I feel there's a purpose then, for, for me in particular, and that he's trying to tell me to get things done. You know, he always said love is the way. 
That's what he said in all the time. So I think the teaching that he taught me the most is you can't let anger destroy your heart and you have to let love win. The saying that Connor once on Stephen's headstone is love is the answer. That was Stephen, love is the answer. There's some good in the worst of us and some evil in the best of us. When we discover this, we are less prone to hate our enemies.